Hi everyone, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Today's pick a card is you versus them. We'll see how you're feeling, how they're feeling, and, and what the energy is um, towards the relationship together. You know, whether you're in a relationship or not. We'll just see if there's a possibility. Um, I don't know. We'll just see what the energy says between the two of you, okay? So we're going to get your energy, their energy, and then the energy of you both together. Before I get started, I always send out some healing, so take a deep breath with me. You ready? All right. Today we're picking with cats. <laughs> I'm running out of things to, to choose from, um, you know, so I, I'm finding these whimsical things. So, you know, once again, I dug into my scrapbook uh, pile and we have kitty cats here. They're beautiful. They're fun. So anyway, pile one, we have the tan and brown cat. Pile two, black and white cat. And pile three, tan and white cat. So take a moment. Pick the pile you are most drawn to. And uh, we'll get started with pile one. Okay, pile one, if you chose this cute tan and brown Siamese type of looking cat, then this is going to be your reading. We're going to jump in and get um, three cards for you. So this is your energy, right? We have two of swords, king of swords, ten of cups. Okay, so you looks like you might have to decide something, decide maybe if your person's right for you. I don't know, but you are looking through the truth. You have mental clarity now. You just want somebody who's honest, um, but you are looking for your Ten of Cups. So I feel like you feel like your person um, has the potential to give you that Ten of Cups. So we'll see. Let's, uh, let's pull three cards for them. Okay, so their energy is the Empress, Three of Cups, Six of Pentacles. Oh boy. All right. Oh, it looks like this is a person that could have put you in a three, a third party situation. If not, it's just somebody who likes to celebrate a lot with their friends, but I kind of feel like it might be somebody who put you in a third party situation. Ooh. Um, look, if it is, if that's the case, then I'm sorry, but um, they're coming back being very loving, very nurturing, very caring, very willing to give you equal give and take now. They know, I think they finally know that this is what they want and that they might have made a mistake. However, if it's not someone who puts you in a third party situation, because it could just be somebody who just has a lot of friends and who, um, you know, like spreads their time and attention around a lot. You know, somebody who's just fun and outgoing and flirty and, but they're willing to give you equal give and take. So, you know, either way, you have to decide whether you want this person in your life. It's your decision here, it looks like. And uh, you're not, I feel like you might not be 100% on this one. You're not sure. You're not sure if they're, you know, going to give you what you need. But let's see. Let's see the energy between you now. Um, okay, so between you is the Four of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, sorry. Um, well, okay, so yeah, I feel like this is somebody you're questioning. I feel like there's, it feels like this energy between the two, like there's a heavy burden here. So it's like, and somebody's holding on to something or you're both holding on to something. So it feels like um, 
you're quite you're questioning can i trust this person you know is this person being honest i just want honesty um you know will they will they truly give me equal give and take i don't know their track record isn't great maybe they spread themselves around too thin i don't know like maybe they give to everybody's and you want to be a priority or maybe they did choose somebody else over you I want to tell you that there is a new beginning here that is possible okay and it could be a very successful start to something um, I feel like this ten of cups is achievable in this relationship but it all depends if you guys can let down let go of these burdens let go of what's holding you guys back from each other like you got to decide Okay, the choice is yours. So, um, if you choose to give this person a chance, then I think that it will be successful. It, you know, might take some work, but it might, it, I think it'll work out the way that you want it to in the long run. Um, but if you choose not to, that's, again, we all have free will. So, let's get some more cards. Let's, um, uh, let's see... All right, so you got donkey. Keep your heart open no matter what. So they're just saying, give it a chance. Like, have an open mind. Don't have your walls up completely. Like, have an open mind. Like, really consider it. Like, give it some consideration. Okay, and then they got parrot. Listen intently to understand. Okay. <laughs> So they need to listen to you. They need to listen to your fears, your concerns. They need to listen and they need to reassure you. Um, you know, they need to tell you what you need to hear. Um, but first they have to listen to you. They can't shut you down. They have to allow you to speak um, what you need to say and what you need to get out. So hopefully your person will do that for you. Hidden secrets, lost wisdom, look a little deeper. So you're afraid that they have secrets. You're afraid that they're not being honest and you just want the truth. You know what I mean? So you, I feel like you're like, um, you're still hesitant. You're still hesitant on this one. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about this yet. Okay. What are your garden? Nourish, body care, tenderness, rest. Okay. This person has beaten themselves up over this because they feel your um, worry, your anxiety over this. And they don't want you to feel that way. They want you to trust them. They want you to say, look, I'm ready now. I'm ready for this. I want to give you equal give and take. I am ready to meet you halfway. I'm, a, I'm actually ready to meet you more than halfway. I'm well, willing to do what it takes to make you happy. I want to give you your ten of cups. So we'll see. Let's get some more cards. A safe place for you to go. Okay, so I, I kind of think that it might be safe and heed wise counsel, listen. <laughs> Again, listening. Um, I feel like this relationship is safe. I really do feel like your person's sincere. I feel like if you give them the chance, they'll prove it to you. Your person, again, heed wise counsel. Your person needs to listen. So they might like just yes you to death, you know, just just because they don't want to make waves and stuff like that, but they need to really hear you. They really do. And they really need to take good advice from somebody that's going to give it to them. Emotions are running high. So this could lead to something and don't let get pride to get in your way. So, don't be too proud to beg. That's what I got. <laughs> too proud to beg. Or don't be too proud to beg in this situation. 
like you like okay your energy your emotions are like this person's gonna like I feel like they're gonna get under your skin a little bit because I feel like you're like you're not taking me seriously that's kind of the energy I'm feeling like you're like you're you're not hearing me you're listening but you're not hearing me you're not taking me seriously you're just telling me what I want to hear and this is this is riling you up this is making you heated so I do feel like there could be like an argument here between the two of you and this person needs to not let pride get in his way when you get heated they can't come back at you they need to understand and respect your feelings if they do you'll give them a chance I feel like Right. trust you need to trust them this situation is calling for you to have faith I think this is going to work out for you I do I think you need to have a little bit more faith in them than you than you will but I feel like you're going through their track record you know I feel like there's there's something about their track record that has you questioning things and I don't blame you for that um, but they're saying it's okay for you to trust them because this person knows you're their soulmate. They know it. And maybe they didn't know before if they put you in a third party situation. Maybe they didn't understand yet. But now they got it. They got it and they want you. So, um, you know, I think it's really your decision here. I think it's up to you. But I feel like it, I do feel like they are soulmate here. So let's get some love advice card. Let's get, yeah, let's get a love advice card for you, if I could speak. <laughs> and um, let's see what the advice is. My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually, we are always united. For love transcends space and time, and nothing is missing. So, yeah, I feel like you guys aren't in a relationship right now. And I feel like they're coming in. I feel like you might be thinking about them or they might be thinking about you. Or maybe there has been contact. But you, I don't feel like you guys are in a relationship yet. And this is saying that it doesn't matter if we are. We're spiritually connected. We're soulmates. And I care about you. I love you. And we're going to be together. I guess that might be wishful thinking on, on your person's part, but I feel like that's what they're thinking. All right, let's get a Dreams of Guy tarot card for an advice card. You got Ace of Pentacles, Ace of, Ace of um, Earth in this deck, Ace of Earth. So... When the Ace of Earth appears in your reading, it represents a time of change and new beginnings. Either on the career and the home front. Actually, both. So, um, this change is driven by a desire for financial security and independence for yourself and for those whom you are responsible for. It's time to make preparations and plans for the future so that you are not challenged or placed under stress by any changes that are coming. So what do you want to do with your life? What career path will allow you to meet both your responsibilities and be fulfilled? What's going to make you happy? You know, if you desire a safe and secure environment that is free of financial stress, then now is the time to consider building a solid foundation. So obviously you are concerned about finances. And maybe coming together with this person will help those finances drastically. Maybe it'll give you the safety and security that you're looking for. Now, that being said, it's not a reason to jump into a relationship. There has to be love here, right? Otherwise, it's not going to work. So I'm not saying use money as your motivator. But I'm saying that they're pointing out that this is a concern of yours. So, um... You know, I do feel like your person really cares about you. They really do love you. I do feel like you guys are soulmates. I feel like if you trust it, it'll work. But you have to make sure you're there. 
if you don't trust this person, then you can't get into this relationship. Um, so I really feel like it's you that needs to do some soul searching at this time. What is it that you want? What's going to make you happy? Let's pull you some charms. All right. I don't feel like they're playing games with you anymore. They got the Uno card. I think that they're done playing games. I think that things over. I think they are ready for a new chapter in this book of love. I do feel like it's a possibility that you guys will move in together. I do feel like there's a lot of love here. Your angels are supporting it. This might even come as a shock to you, like a surprise. Like you might not have thought that there could be a chance with this person or something or some kind of a su surprise. Maybe they're going to surprise you with something really special. But there's definitely a surprise coming for you. Um, I, 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 I do feel like there was something toxic. Here's the death card, right? The little skull and crossbones. Can you see it better on that card? Um, and I feel like this energy was toxic a little bit. So whether it was a third party situation or them partying too much or just spending too much time with their friends and not giving you enough attention, something, I don't know, but I do feel like there was something that very toxic. I think that it's over. I think that it's done. I think that represents the death card that it's done and over with. I think they are ready now. I feel like this person could really be your best friend if you give it, if given the chance. So, all right, pile one, that's all I have for you. I hope this helped you in some way. I hope you enjoyed it. Give the video a like. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel because you know how much that helps me and makes me so very, very grateful. I do appreciate all of you so very much. And until next time, love and light. Hi, Pile 2. If you chose the black and white kitty, then this one's going to be your reading. Let's jump in and get your energy. We have the star, six of swords, and two of cups. All right, so your energy is um, somebody who is very hopeful. You are uh, you want your dream come true. I think you want to find your person. I think you want this person to be your person. I'm not sure if they is, but you are definitely traveling, traveling towards your soulmate. So I do feel like this person could very well possibly be your soulmate, um, but that's what you're looking for, your two of cups. That's what you want, that deep spiritual bond with somebody. Um, and you are moving towards it. So mm, I think this person could be it, but let's get their energy and see. devil energy page of wands three of cups all right so what i'm getting from this is that your person could be either a very immature still likes to party with his friends a lot or her or she likes to party with her friends a lot um she's not taking life too seriously just yet um she's got a little bit of or they've got a i say they they i mean i don't mean to use the pronouns Excuse me. It could be any gender. Gender. They seem to feel a little immature here, not grown up quite yet. They could be a little codependent with this devil energy. Hopefully, it's not that they have other addictions that you have to worry about. Um, hopefully, it's just a codependency because that's what I'm feeling kind of strongly about with. But you know, devil energy could be, could be, you know, they could be drinking way too much, have, you know, using coping mechanisms. They could be using drugs. So just be very, very wary of this energy. Um, make sure that this is your soulmate and this is who you want to be with. I feel like your person does have potential though. I do feel like with this page, they have a lot of great ideas. They just might not follow through with them yet. So I feel like if they you know, come to a time in their life where they're ready to be focused, I feel like they can accomplish great things. So I'm not giving up on this yet. I'm not, you guys could be just very, really young. You could be like, you know, in your early twenties, um, you know, and you want to know if this is the person you'll marry. I don't know. We'll see. Um, you know, it's, it's just a, 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 um, 
little bit of a toxic toxic energy here that we it doesn't mean that they can't clear it out okay so don't don't let's not make judgment yet okay so let's uh let's see the energy between the two of you Oh, five of swords, the hangman, four of wands. Okay, well, the first two cards made me think, uh, maybe not, maybe it's not going to work out. But then you got the four of wands, and I'm thinking, yeah, this is going to work out. All right, so there's going to be some conflict, okay? There's going to be some conflict because I feel like you have a much more and more mature energy than your person does, and this is going to take you off. This is going to get you upset, maybe not in the very beginning, but towards, you know, after a certain period of time, you're going to be like, all right, you know, like, how old are we now? Can we just settle down? Like, are, are, are we ready to get focused yet? Um, so I feel like there's going to be some conflict in this relationship. I don't feel like this is going to go completely smooth sailing for you, but I do feel like, um, you know, you'll be able to see it from a different different perspective you'll be able to look at the big picture and you'll see that this is somebody that you can really build a firm foundation with i i do feel like this is going to lead to marriage um we just got to conquer this devil right we don't like this so we got to conquer that but i do feel like i said your your person has potential with this page so they have the potential to conquer this devil energy whatever it is so, I, like I said, I wasn't ready to give up on them. And I know it's going to cause some conflict. But I feel like you're going to see the big picture. And it will lead to marriage. I think that you, you, you'll you see that this is your soulmate. I know. I know. I know. I already hear it. I don't want this. I don't want to go through that. I understand. But you know what? We all came here to, to learn and grow. So, this might be the lesson that you have to learn and grow from. Or vice versa. They might have to learn and grow from you. So don't be so closed-minded just yet. The whale lives as a fully conscious being. Yes, I feel like that is your energy. I feel like, like I said, I feel like you are more mature than your person. I feel like you are living as a fully conscious being. I feel like you are connected. I feel like you are an old soul. I feel like you are wise. You know what you want. But I think you're smart enough to know when you can overcome something as well. And I feel like you're going to be able to overcome this energy. Rhinoceros, be strong and courageous. See, your, your person's in this energy, whatever this is for them. It could be the just codependency or a false belief system. It doesn't have to be addictions, okay? It does not have to be that. But they're in it because they're afraid. Basically, devil energy is born out of fear. Right? So your person needs to take a look at what they're afraid of and then conquer it. Be strong, right? And have the courage. And I think that they will. I think that they'll grow up a little bit and they'll get that. I think that you will help them grow up and grow out of that fear and that toxic energy. Deep cellular heal, healing, physical and emotional healing. So I feel like that's you. I feel like that's you again here coming out of choppy waters, going into the smooth sailing a little bit. I feel like that you've done that. I feel like you've done some healing. And that is why you have more mature energy because you've, you've done some of the shadow work. You've done that, some of that hard work on yourself. And you realized that there's things about you that you had to fix things about you that you didn't like, you took a look at that. And that's not easy to do because nobody wants to look at themselves and say, oh, I don't like that about me. You know? And, and I feel like you did some of that. I feel like there's more to go, but I feel like you did that. And I feel like that's why you're the swell energy. I think you are a beautiful spirit. Um, and I really do feel like you're going to help your person level up. And it's like spiritual wise, vibration wise, I feel like you're going to help them so much. And um, I'm tearing up because this is beautiful. I, I just think you're a beautiful soul. When, when you, when you're strong enough to do the work, that's, um, it means you're pretty amazing. And 
Uh, they're making me cry over it. So <laughs> what I'm saying is, you know, when I cry, that's one of my signs for those of you who haven't been with me a while. That's one of, that's one of the signs that spirit lovingly gave me to <laughs> let me know that I'm speaking the truth here. Um, that they're, you know, I'm saying exactly what they want me to say, that I am definitely channeling them. It's a terrible sign. I have asked for several different signs and I have other signs, but they like to give me that one at the, uh, at the most inappropriate times. <laughs> but anyway, I can't complain because it's a gift and I, and I love my gift. All right. Loosen your grip. Coping mechanisms, density, addiction, like got in. Yeah, there we go. There's that devil energy. So the person's got that devil energy. They got to conquer it. I think that with your help that they can, but they have to also want to, you know? So hopefully your person is ready and, and going to be willing when you're ready and willing to help. Complete commitment. I feel like that's what you want. I feel like you want complete commitment. I feel like you're willing to give complete commitment. Um, but you expect your partner to give that too. Find solutions in unknown places in the darkness. There we go. What was I saying about shadow work? Your person needs to do some shadow work. Your person needs to take a look at themselves and figure out what they're afraid of, why they're afraid of it, what they don't like about themselves and how they can change that and be better. I feel like your person's going to do that. I do feel strongly that they're going to do that. So like I said, don't give up on this relationship just yet. Nothing is set in stone. So that means, for me, that means that you still have a choice. If this person doesn't level up the way you need them to do it, you don't have to marry them. Nothing is set in stone. They're, your angels and gods are reminding you that you have free will. Just because this is a soulmate doesn't mean you need to marry them or you need to be in their life. You don't have to. I've cut off several soulmates of mine, you know, cut them out of my life because they were toxic and I couldn't help them. I didn't feel like I could. They, I don't feel like they wanted my help. So, you know, I did cut several people out of my life. So like this card is just reminding you that you always have a choice. So don't ever feel like you're stuck. Okay. Now let's get their card and they need to look at the bigger picture because you already do. I feel like you already do. Um, I feel like they need to look at the bigger picture. They need to get their act together. I think when you come into life, they're going to be at a point in their life where they're ready. They're ready to make some changes. I think that the, just, I, I just have this feeling that you just being in their life is going to make them want to be better for you. I don't know why I'm feeling that way. Yeah, you're going to have a lot of heart-to-heart -heart conversations. You like to talk things out. You are going to be like, yeah, we're, we're talking about this. We're going to face it. We're going to talk it out. And you're going to listen. <laughs> Let's see what their card is. Playfulness. Yeah, they just like to have fun. They just like to play and have fun. That's their energy. That's that youthful, sometimes immature energy that they're still in. And I'm not saying they should lose that because they shouldn't. You know, they shouldn't lose that playfulness. They just need to lose the toxicity, right? All right, so let's get you a uh, love advice card for this situation. There we go. Transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers all and transforms all things. So I knew you were going to help them. With love, your person's going to conquer this devil energy. They are. Just have a little bit of faith in them. All right, 
right, let's pull you a Dreams of Gaia tarot card. Oh. And you got, what is that? Five, six, seven of Earth. Seven of Earth. Hmm. At this time, look out into the world to see, feel, and understand the cycles of life and nature and how they affect and influence you. Over time, life and day-to-day -day demands may begin to wear away at us, making us irritable and reactive, less adaptable and flexible, more fearful of changes going on within us and around us. And all of these things can make us feel disconnected. So the seven of earth symbolizes the importance of connection and being part of the natural world, but also the need to address areas of potential stress in your life before they become a problem. It's time to meditate and still, still your mind, breathe deeply and allow yourself to relax. Even if you don't believe in all of this spiritual woo woo stuff, it's still important to meditate. It's still important to calm your mind, to calm yourself. Um, I feel like your person, I think you already know this, but I think, feel like your person is going to learn that they need to do this too. Because I feel like your person has a lot of fear in them. And I don't know why. I'm not sensing why. And I'm not sure what happened to them. But they do, I feel this devil energy is really, really based out of fear. So they need to calm. Right? They need to still their mind. They need to calm themselves so that they can feel connected, not only to the earth, but to source. And whether they believe or not, whether they're religious or spiritual or, or, or not, it doesn't matter. Um, when we still our minds, we always feel that connection, whether you know what that connection is or not. You kind of feel it. You feel grounded. So your person needs to ground a little bit more. Okay? Let's get, yes, some charms. Let's see what's going on. I do feel like there's potential here. I really do. If your person decides to get their act together, they have to want it. This is a journey. I do feel like this is a journey and I feel like it's important. So don't discount this relationship just because you don't want to go through anything rough and tough and hard. Because guess what? We all signed up to go through the rough and tough and hard. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here. Otherwise, we would be on the other side where it's all love and light. So just know that. Just just see that. Be be that wise person. Be that fully conscious being and understand that. And then, and know that this person, um, you're going to help them go through this journey together. I feel like balance will be restored. I feel like they'll get the balance they need and i feel like the relationship will be in alignment i do this is somebody it says new life this is somebody that you could have a create life with this is somebody who you could marry and have babies with it says new life i do feel like this is the key to your heart or the key to their heart like you either have theirs or they have yours you got two lockets here so for me i guess that means you both have the key to each other's heart This is supported. This is supported by the divine, so you don't have to worry about this. I feel like this is um, this could be karmic. You know, this could be a karmic relationship that you ha that is meant to be because you guys made plans on the other side to come here and, and and do this together. There is an elephant. That means uh, spirituality again. So again, connection. This is spiritually guided. I really do feel like that. I feel like your person will have a light bulb moment. They will have an epiphany. They will wake up and grow up. I feel like they are very paternal. Um, so even though they might have immature energy, I still think that they want to have a family. And I think you do too. So I think there's a very good chance that you guys will start a family together. Again, here's some more angels. And then lastly, you have two different music charms here. You got the music notes there, and then you got the guitar. So I think music is either very important to one or both of you, or that that you um, or your person will receive um, messages from heaven through song. 
you know, I feel like you'll, you'll get messages like, um, so just pay attention. That's all. All right, pile two. That's all I have for you. Give this video a like. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Cause that'll help me and make me very grateful. And until next time, love and light. Hi, pile three. If you chose the tan and white kitty, then this one's going to be your reading. Let's get your energy. Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Empress. All right. So you have a deep wish to have it all, to have love, to have money, to have a good life. And um, good for you. Like, we should all want that, right? Who doesn't want that? Um, we should all have dream big and, and reach our, and shoot for our goals. So I do feel like you are um, definitely looking for love at this time. And I feel like you have a lot of love to give. I feel like you are very loving, very nurturing. And you will take care of your person in that loving, nurturing way. Um, but, you know, I like you already. I think you're an amazing soul. So let's see your person. Your person has the Wheel of Fortune, the Nine of Wands, and the Strength card. All right, so your person has been through the battle. Your person is the Wounded Warrior. They've been through some stuff, but you know what? They keep going. They are strong. They are courageous. They are brave. They just, you know, they have luck on their side, too. So your person... Um, is a good person too. Um, somebody you could probably count on. But let's see the energy together. A five of Wands. Justice. Ace of Swords. Okay, so. Alright. There might be a little bit of not seeing eye to eye on everything. Um, because I feel like, all right, this is because I feel like you are very loving, very nurturing, very forgiving, very like it, you, like I hear you telling your person, it's not that bad. It's, it's okay. It'll work out. But your person is the wounded warrior. They know they've been through some tough stuff. So they know that it might not be all right. So I feel like, um, there's there you guys might not see eye to eye on everything but i do feel like you guys will find a way to bring everything into balance i feel like um that this will be a a, a, a good start for you guys i feel like that you know ace of swords is a, is a new start right a new beginning so i do feel like you guys will make this work. I feel like you will come into alignment with that justice. I feel like you will both get what you want in the long run. But you guys aren't going to see eye to eye on everything. You're just not. And that's okay. That's okay. We don't have to be perfect partners. You know? Conflict helps us grow. Alright, so you've got Eagle sees opportunities courageously. And I think that's you. I think that's your energy. I think you are courageous. I think that you do see opportunities. I think you are more of a positive person than, than, than your person over here. I think your person's a little cynical with good reason, but they do have luck on their side. So, uh, yeah, I just, I don't know. Let's see. I think that you, you are good at what you do. You're, you, you, can accomplish anything it feels like with that eagle. Raven, prepare for change. Look, isn't it interesting you both got birds? I don't know if that means anything, but it's pretty interesting to me. But anyway, the change is coming for your person. So maybe they're going to see the light. Maybe they're going to see that you are an amazing person and that you they don't have to worry about being with you, that you'll take care of them and, and things will work out for them. Who knows? But there's just definitely change happening here. Protection, loyalty, safety, trust. This is you. This is you. You are loyal. You are safe. You are trustworthy. 
Um, that is definitely your energy. And that's what you're portraying. That's what you put out. That's what you're projecting. Your person's going to come to that realization that, that you are somebody that they can depend on. That you're not going to be one of the ones that let them down. Trust the timing. Trust the wave that you came in on timing is not running out. Oh, maybe your person is, is afraid that uh, they're going to, if they don't get their act together, um, they could lose you. I don't think that's true. Time's not running out. Time is an, an, a human thing. It's not a, a divine thing. So um, time is not running out for the two of you. I don't know. I don't know. Let's, let's get more cards. I just... Uh, they're trying to tell me something. I'm just not hearing it. Take care of yourself. And I am reborn. All right, beautiful. Okay. So you put others first. You're very loving, very nurturing, very giving. You put others' needs before your own. And they're saying you need to put yourself first, okay? Even if you don't do it all the time, at least do it some of the time. Put your needs first, okay? Be selfish every once in a while. It's okay. It's okay. Your person's being reborn. So your person's going through a change. Expect change. Prepare for change, right? They are going to reinvent themselves. They're going to be, they're like the phoenix rising from the ashes, becoming bigger, better, bolder, stronger. You know? So, uh, yeah. And like I said, time's not running out. So if you guys are not with each other, don't worry about it. I think this will come together when it's, when your person's ready. Have faith in your dreams. And this person needs to realize that they are safe. That they are okay. That they 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 don't they don't need to worry so much. Everything's gonna work out for them. They got luck on their side. Love yourself first again okay I know how what a great person you are you're amazing you're beautiful but you need to fill your cup up first if you don't fill up your cup first you will have nothing to share with someone else so make sure you're putting yourself first okay this one's gonna take a chance they're gonna open up to you they're going to reveal more and more to you. You're going to get to understand them a little bit better. And again, that's just going to strike your compassion, um, your your need to um, mother them or, or nurture them in some way. And again, that's you going to be putting them first because they're going to open up to you and say, I've been through this, I've been through that, and I have all these troubles, and what was me? And they have. I'm not... I'm not, but that's going to make you be like, oh, okay, here, here's everything. I'll give you everything. And they're saying, nope, 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 stop. You've got to take care of yourself first, okay? You've got to give love to you first. And then you can have enough to share. But you've got to make sure your cup is full first, okay? Let's pull you a love advice on this one. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway of the soul. So I just feel like this is just saying, like, you both have to be true to you. You have to be true to you. They have to be true to the, what do you really want? What did this person really want? And then come together equally balanced. All right, let's pull... A Dreams of Gaia tarot card. Let's see what we get. Huh. Two of water. 
Well, I guess this is meant to be. Two of water. Represents a relationship that has moved beyond infat infatuation and physical attraction to one that is built upon a foundation of deeper mutual love, respect, trust, or shared interests and values. It symbolizes a meeting of the minds and heart that is free of the desire to possess and control. It also repre represents a time of forgiveness and reconciliation. If a rift has developed between lovers or friends, now is the time to let go of hurt and anger and put judgment aside and put blame aside. You know, don't allow arrogance or wounded ego or pride to destroy a relationship. So, looks like this is going to happen. Looks like you guys are going to come together and build something pretty solid. Let's get you some charms. What do I got here? Okay. Explore things. Just be open to explore this. You know, there might be some things you're not seeing clearly. You might be some, you might be confused. Maybe there's some mixed signals. Like I said, you're not seeing eye to eye, but that's okay. I think it'll work out. Look, you got the affinity, affin, infinity symbol, which means soulmates forever. You know, coming back together again and again. You got the locket. So someone here holds the key to the other one's heart. There is a transformation. There is a change. Expect change, right? This is going to end up being a very a home run. You guys are going to knock it out of the park. It's going to be great. Um, it, it could something could come as a surprise to you, or your person could surprise you by coming forward and say, "Okay, I'm ready for this now." Uh, whatever it is, the games are done. They need to be done. And uh, yeah, look, you got the baby deer. This is you. This is your energy. You just, you're just so loving. You're just so nurturing. This is you just wanting to take care of this person. I love you. <laughs> I love you, but you got to love yourself. All right. That's all I got for you. Pile three. Give the video a like. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, subscribe to the channel. Cause that'll help me so much. Okay. I really do appreciate that. And until next time, love and light.